Hey everybody, here I am again off on another adventure of mine. Um, walk, walk down this one old trail here. That's where it ends, just there. And we're going that way. Doing some walking today. Got today off. Yay! So I'm doing some walking today. Um, hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see something. Uh, it'd be awesome to get a grouse. I haven't had grouse for a few days. I think it's about time to make some nachos. Yeah, I need some nachos, but I need, I need a grouse or two to help that out. With. So, anyways, stick around if you want to check this out. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right, let's get into this. What is up everybody here I am again doing a little bit of hunting today and um, it's a beautiful day uh, very clear uh, it was lightly lightly snowing uh, this morning but uh, the clouds are starting to thin out a little bit sort of well they're moving around anyway so that's the main thing as long as it's not pitch black and deeply snowing right but it is a little frosty on the ground so it's not the easiest to stay quiet <laughs> but anyways there's a couple of roads here I wanted to check out I wanted to walk up and down and see what I could see uh, I found a few spots where I could set up a blind but you know I'm not really one to sit patiently that's kind of my downfall when it comes to uh, when it comes to sitting in blinds um, but I did find a couple of cool spots I'd be able to actually set up camp. Um, like set up camp, camp, and uh, a couple spots to set up my blind. So, um, I find, actually, I like this road. It's quiet, too. There's a few fallen trees on the road, so it's easy to tell that, you know, um, and you can easily tell that the branches are still on top of the tree that's fallen over, so, um, which gives me a good indication that um, nobody's been through, here, been through this road with a vehicle lately. Well, depends how long that tree's been down. Because the sticks were still straight up in the air. Would have definitely got snapped off for sure. If a truck went through it. But anyways. So I like this little road here. We're actually pretty close to... I don't want to say the road. McCulloch. Shh, don't tell everybody. Um, we are fairly close to that road. So, just another off-road I wanted to check out. Actually, me and a buddy of mine, we used to unload our quads at the end of this road. And uh, looking at the road from where we'd unload, a, unload the quads... Um, it doesn't really look like much, but actually, this road went quite a ways, <laughs> and um, quite a ways, and very nice area, actually. Nice and open, uh, some nice um, bushy spots. I think I just heard again, but, uh, but it is very nice, very nice. Lots of food for the deer. Last time I was up in this area, which is actually way, way down there, um, on the main road, and I stopped and I walked up the hill and um, I saw this, uh, I didn't, okay, I was walking up, I was looking at the ground and I happened to look up and there was this big black blur way off in the distance. And I'm looking at it and kind of looking because I 
I was just looking at that, right? Looking in that spot up there. And I happened to look down, then I looked back up, and I saw that big black blur, right? But then something kind of caught my attention. I looked, and then I looked back, and the thing had a snout on it. Like, a shape of the snout. Like, you could, you could clearly see... Um, uh, well, couldn't clearly, clearly see... But you can see that it had a snout of some kind and it really like looked like a bear but it was way off in the distance it was hard to tell and i wasn't i didn't have any tags or anything so um i calmly <laughs> backed out of that area um yeah so anyways so i was up here and then i calmly backed out of the area went back to the truck and just continued on my way right but anyways um, I hope I see something today. I have an idea to make some nachos tonight, but I need a couple grouse or something. Come on, you gotta have something, right? So, I'm hoping to find a grouse or two. Maybe. We'll see. If I get really lucky, I'll see a deer. Yay. But you know what? Even if I don't see anything, even if I don't see anything at all, this smile on my face is still gonna be there at the end of the trip. So, that's all I gotta say. I'm not working. Yay. <laughs> okay, so anyways, my arm's getting tired of holding the phone. So I'm going to put it down and relax. I'm going to walk to the end of this road and uh, I don't know. If I pick a different direction, we'll go. All right, so it looks like they found me. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But it looks like I found a bee's nest here, an old bee's nest. Looks like it kind of fell off of... Not that. <laughs> Up there. <laughs> Got three pieces of this bee's nest. That's crazy. Just walking by. Saw that. Y'all thought it was the helicopter looking for me, didn't ya? <laughs> okay, so I went off the road that I was walking. Started following the deer trail. <clears throat> I found a little blind, uh, if you can see that. I found a little blind, I'm gonna check it out. A neat little spot, I kinda like it. And it's actually perfect for somebody who hunts with a bow. I'm gonna check it out. See if anybody's home. Right? All right, check that. All right, no welcome mat, no doorbell. Should I knock first? Maybe I should knock first. I don't know, I'm gonna put my phone down and check it out. It's definitely a blind. <laughs> chair and it's another chair. <laughs> hey right dog. Right. Wire. Hey. Okay. Check that out. Wire. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? I like this actually. This is pretty cool. Right, and you're sitting up here. All right, here, let's turn that camera around. All right, so you're sitting up here. All right, checking out the view. That's beautiful. All right, you got the sticks on both sides. Look at that. I like this. This is a good setup. Pimp. That's pimp. Alright, so I like that blind. That's a good idea. It's in a good spot too. It sees a lot. 
So, did a little quick walk around this area. I didn't see anything. I didn't even see any antler sheds or bones or nothing. So, I'm going to make my way back to the truck. My hands are getting pretty cold. <laughs> so, get to the truck and make my way. Go down a couple more roads I want to check out. But that blind's a good idea. Whoever made that blind, kudos to you. I might actually use it. <laughs> of course, I won't destroy it. Right? It's for everybody. And of course, nothing will happen. I'm just simply going out to use it. And I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. It's a little late in the day today. Well, I mean, not quite. There's a lot of daylight left. I mean, we're just starting. But something like that, I'd want to be out there before the sun comes up sort of thing, right? All right. Well, I'm going to remember where I came from, how to get back. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Which way is the best way to go? Where's that tree that I looked at? Where's that tree? It's down there. There it is. Ha 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 ha. Today on Survival Lost and Found. Ha ha ha. Oh. Now she's getting slippery because it's icy and it's frosty. Well, not icy, but it's frosty. There we go. Oh. Okay. So, now. Okay. Now I'm going to get back to the truck. <laughs> So this right here was one of the camp spots that I was thinking about. Um, it's nice. It's open. I pull my truck right up in there. Set the tent up over there. There's a small little fire pit beyond that brush there. And it's in a field. <laughs> It'd be awesome. You know, I could set my blind up over there. Or I could set my blind up over there and put my tent over there or vice versa or whatever. It's a good open area. I like it. So I think this is my next camping spot. <laughs> I'll make it one. <laughs> but I think that's a cool little area right there. But anybody who, who's interested in the outdoors and stuff, like you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, no better feeling. All right. So check this out. It's snowing, it's sunny, I see blue skies. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I'm, this is wild. I know this doesn't happen all the time, right? But every now and then it happens, it's crazy. But anyways, I'm standing in the sun. It's snowing wildly, it's nice. Um, I came out from a section out there. Um, beautiful area, unfortunately didn't see anything i was hoping with all these trees here i would um with all these trees the trees close together that there would be more grouse because they like to you know do their thing do their thing but yeah this is crazy i started the truck and i was just about to leave and i figured i'd come out here and i would just do this quick little show you here <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna get back in the truck and I'm going to go down this road. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it?
I'm walking down another path here. Found one that's not very snowy. <laughs> nice and muddy. And from the tracks, it looks like somebody's been here. Maybe yesterday. Looks like a nice road. Um, there's a few trees up ahead that were falling out of the road, so um, and there are bigger trees, so you know, like right off to the side. And uh, it looks like they were freshly cut, so it looked like whoever made these tracks might have cut that tree. You know, just put one and two together, right? Or I could be completely wrong. <laughs> it is snowing still. It's a neat little area. And beyond, well, I guess you can't, you can see, but you can't really see, but spots here you can see quite a ways inside. like at the end of the road. Well, maybe not to the end, but it could just keep on going and going and going, but wow. Looks neat. Hoping to see something today. Hoping. The only thing I've seen so far were squirrels. Haven't seen any grouse. And I'm, in a, I'm on a road, actually, that uh, I went down a few times before. But the area is familiar to me. I haven't been on this side um, for a long time. I've been sticking to um, another road. Way on the other side. <laughs> um... So I decided to come back and see what's cooking, see what's popping. Well, you know what I mean, right? Interesting. Did you see that? Find all sorts of cool stuff. <laughs> I once found a five-gallon pail with the bottom cut out and a toilet seat uh, glued to the top of it. It was awesome. <laughs> I found it in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, nowhere. And it wasn't even used. I looked at it and I was I was kind of astonished. It's <laughs> pretty thick down in this area here in this spot it was a little more open back there but it looks like it's getting a little more thick down there I was kind of hoping for a nice little deer trail that I could possibly go on and take a look right because where are you going to find the deer deer trails that's a good one right That's what I'm working with. <laughs> but I'm shocked I haven't seen even a grouse yet. And on the other side, where I used to go, tons of grouse. Tons of grouse. <laughs> See that? A shower head. 
A shower head. I see a shower head. Oh yeah, I hear the vehicle now. Must be coming on the road. So, anyways. I'm gonna continue on, anyways. Hopefully I see something exciting, or run into something exciting, or anything. <laughs> Probably stop talking. Might be a good idea. And pay more attention to where I'm stepping. I'm looking. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go up further. Hopefully, I'll run into something in interesting. <laughs> Okay, so I just saw some, uh, what I believe to be wolf tracks, and um, I looked around, obviously, right, and uh, walked up just a little bit, and I heard like this, I heard like this rock, I don't know, like it was, it was like kind of like the sound of uh, two rocks hitting each other, right, kind of, and uh, so I looked back, <laughs> so I looked back, and obviously nothing, right, and I took two more steps steps and I heard the, like a um, uh, like a twig breaking right but not like a little a faint little break like a <clears throat> like a like a, a deeper break right deeper sounding break so now I'm thinking like who's hunting who right <laughs> I got a little excited I see a wolf track right thinking maybe I can get a wolf and then I hear some noises Right? So just make sure you look back every now and then and keep your eyes open. <laughs> Pretty cool, neat little area down here. A little of a climb down to get down there and to get back up, but this neat little portion of the road, I gotta say. This looks kind of interesting. Right? came out here hunting for deer and now I feel like I'm being hunted by a wolf. Don't be surprised. Eh. Let's just say I'm not gonna go out pretty I'm not gonna go out easy so you can try and if he wins he wins but I ain't going down easy. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <sighs> Check out this creek down here. Oops. Don't want to get my arrow stuck. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cool. I wonder if there's gold. I should have brought my gold pan. <laughs> This is a neat little creek. This would be a really nice area for them to come and and uh, fuel up on water, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yup. Right? Nice little flat spot up there. And it looks like that continues. Maybe that was an old road. I bet ya. See if that wolf's on the road now. See if it's hunting me. Let's see, let's look in the mud. Can we see any more tracks? No, that's not a track. This is a track, but that's way too small. Way too small. Looks like a deer hoof. I just heard something up there. This wolf's got me freaked out, man. Like, I saw those wolf prints, and that was, that's all that's in my head right now. I'll tell ya. <laughs> it's a bit of a rush. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a major rush, in a weird way. 
Oh, look at that. The road continues around the corner. Oh, would you check that out? Huh? Hopefully I'm far enough away from that area. Now that I'm turning the corner here, I'll be on the other side. So if there is something coming up, following me, I'll notice it. It'll have to come down up there. Right? So I'll hear something. I'm hoping. And that's kind of, you know, the thought process, you know, the thought, the idea, right? Or it could just be sitting there waiting for me to come when I go back. <laughs> Bark, huh? Right. Nice little area, I gotta say. Well, you got the creek right there. So they got water. This is a nice little area, I gotta say. I'm kind of hoping for something exciting to happen, except for I don't want a wolf to come at me. That's not really the excitement that I was having, you know? <laughs> I mean, it would be exciting to shoot one, for sure. For sure. But I don't really want to have to shoot it um because i'm being attacked by it i mean i mean that's the ultimate thing why we you know defend ourselves but it's not exactly what uh what i was going for i just keep looking back i just got that eerie feeling because i'll tell you if you heard what i heard i should stop talking loud area though for sure it's a little rainy we are a little bit lower in elevation when I wish um, when uh, when I hit that snow I'm gonna go up this way actually I think there's a road here goes down there's a road here goes up we're going to take this one up here. I like to mix it up every now and then. Hopefully I don't get too lost. Hopefully. Hopefully. Where's the sun? Uh, <laughs> I can't see the sun. That's okay. I'll figure it out. I always have. I've only gotten lost once. And that time was ridiculous. Actually, you know what? No, scratch that. I've gotten lost once in the bush. Multiple times in the city. <laughs> I know my way around the bush better than I do the city. I got lost in Vegas. That's a story. <laughs> An hour before my flight. What's this? Oh yeah, more garbage people throw out, right? Right on. People, garbage, man. You know, I'll tell you. The amount of garbage I've seen in my whole, in my, uh, well, whole time of doing this out in the bush. It's pretty much. Pretty much my whole life. Um, the amount of garbage I've seen is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. It's disgusting, actually. Like, I get it. People need to throw stuff out. And maybe they don't have money for dump fees or something. But 
come on, like, figure it out, right? You know what I mean? I do. <laughs> This road, holy cow, it's going in all sorts of directions. Up, down, across creeks, over, up, up the mountain, down the mountain, through the rocks. <laughs> and you got big, wide open spaces. And then tiny little areas. <laughs> this road's a lot like me, it's all over the map. starting to get to where I kind of like to get to on this road so I'm gonna quiet down now and turn the camera off hopefully when I come around these few bends I believe that are up here or they might actually be a little bit further um, see what we see hopefully we see something and yeah okay so it's hard to see on the on the on the camera, but there are wolf tracks. There's small ones too. I saw a couple of really big ones back there. These ones are a little smaller. There's another one. Another one. But there's where's where were they on this side? I don't know. I lost them on this side. But there was a couple other tracks on this side, and I can't find them anymore. These are tire tracks. Maybe I was mistaken, it, but there's a lot of little ones I see, and there's ones that are a little bigger than the little ones, and then there's big, big ones back there too. So now. I don't know, I'm starting to think here. See any tracks in the mud? No. Yeah. Now I'm starting to think. Oh, I just mashed up a nice one. Where was it? I think it was there. Shoot. Wow, okay, so we know that there's something here. I mean, that's a good sign. It's better than no sign at all. I see tire tracks. Now I don't see them at all. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> So thinking about it now, um, the first ones had to be wolf. Um, the first one prints that I saw had to be wolf. The small ones, I don't know, maybe they were coyote. I don't know, they're pretty small to be wolf, you know what I mean? I hear it. Do you hear it? I hear it. I know I hear it.
stop chirping. I speak loud. I heard it over here, though. stop for a rock or something. No. That's no. That's not anything. But there is something black in the background. Looks like a burnt stump or something. Uh, if you can see that. Yeah, I doubt very much you'd be able to see that at all. But it hasn't moved around. No, it would have moved by now. Oh, curiosity. Anyways, I don't see the grass anywhere, so. Oh, look at that. Check this out. What is the size of that freaking thing? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> look at that. That's gnarly. That is huge. Like, for real. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. We'll just put that back in there. Just kind of push it back on there. Hopefully it can grow back on the tree. <laughs> that was cool. I think those ones you can actually eat. Uh, apparently, they say uh, it tastes like you get a lot of fiber from it. <laughs> no. What's an adventure, eh? You know, I can shoot a wolf. Be sweet. Um, coyote can too. Kind of neat to see those prints. That first one was a wolf. It had to be a wolf. I think those other ones, all those little ones, were coyote tracks. And I was coming out here for a grouse, but I don't. See it, don't see any movement and I don't know if I want to get into all that thick stuff there just to find a grouse. I mean, actually I should, but I just continue on the way. Remember, I still got a wolf after me. I shouldn't joke about that just in case anything were to happen, right? Ugh. There's nothing behind me, right? Let me know if you see anything, right? Ooh. Good times. All these little uh, markers that you're seeing through my journey here are uh, forestry markers. Um, normally they tag trees of where they start uh, the process and the process <coughs> your, like your lines of scrimmage sort of thing. <coughs> or to tell them whatever else information, right? So just so everybody knows, right? 
No, I'm not putting ribbons all over the trees and stuff like that to tell me where I've been. <laughs> I have a bad memory. It's not that bad. <laughs> There's a nice little open area up here. Hopefully I remember how to get back. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to just follow the yellow wolf road. Ah, that's funny. Oh, I made a funny. Okay, shh, Greg, shh. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I thought I saw a pretty cool piece of wood. I'm always on the hunt for everything. So I'm always stopping everywhere. This has been a journey. This has been fun. I enjoy this. Good times. So, bet you anything they're going to be doing something on this road. Maybe they're... Maybe they're going to open it up. Sorry, I'm just moving my arrow. Putting my arrow back on my string there. There we go. Okay, good times. My legs are starting to get tired now. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. There's a wolf on my tail. Nice little, yeah. nice little open area. Let me know if you see anything. Comment below. Oh, I think I see a cross. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No. You know, I'm shocked. I've actually been walking on this road for quite a while now. And so far, so far I've seen more like, not animal-wise, but I've seen more evidence and more things on this road than the other ones I was on earlier today. So I think I'll just keep walking it. <laughs> nice open area, hey? Like, you could easily sit here with a blind. Easily. Very easily. Sit here with a blind. Uh, I'm not seeing any more wolf tracks or coyote tracks or anything. I haven't seen anything all day. I'm surprised. Maybe it's all my talking. <laughs> That's the reason. That's why. That's why. You know, I really had, I wish I had like one of those, uh, what do you call them? GoPros or something. The thing that, you know, attaches to your body and your hands free. There's some deer tracks. Some deer tracks. It kicked the mud a little bit. Yeah, little one. Um, from the look of it, it looks like it's whitetail. It looks like it's whitetail. They look pretty small too. That's okay. Really kick the dirt in there.
Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh. Uh, snow. Gotta love snow. It's just that time of year. You know, I will tell you this right now, though. I will say, you know, every time I go out, like, I don't film or try to even make a video every time I go out. If I did that, holy... <laughs> I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you how many videos I would have. <laughs> like, I don't always plan to do a video when I go out walking or hiking or, or um, hunting or fishing or anything I don't make a video every time because uh, that's that would just that's just a ridiculous amount of videos <laughs> I'd have to start a whole new channel and everything <laughs> But I do make videos every now and then. You know, I do start videos. And then I gotta wait for certain things and then I'll finish the video or... You know. Like I'm in, right now I'm in the middle of a couple of videos and I got, I'm trying to figure out other videos. <laughs> so... It's a process. I didn't realize how much work it is just to make these videos and put them up and stuff, right? But, oh. Okay. Look at that. Nice bendy tree. Check that, eh? Okay. I'm going to have to turn the camera off. I'm going to walk up a little bit more. Hopefully I see something else interesting. And so I just passed those tracks again. And I got to tell you, they, I don't, I, I'm not too sure because I think they look too, the coyote tracks are smaller than what those are. Wolf tracks are bigger than what those are. Now, if you have a couple babies around, maybe maybe a year old or something like that, I could see that. I don't know. Coyote, wolf, there's something in here. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, I know my tracks, you know, well enough to get me by, but I would call those wolf. The first one that I saw was wolf. I'll call that wolf, but those ones, I don't know, coyotes, they're, they're smaller than that, I think, you know, I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but, you know, adult wolf or, or was pretty much the size of the first ones I saw, but um, those ones, I don't think they're coyotes, they're, I don't think they're coyotes. I don't see them being coyote. Coyote are definitely smaller. But wolf, they're bigger, right? No, oh, no, it wouldn't be. Oh, no. It wouldn't be a lynx. Uh, I don't know. There's something out here. I'd, I'd have to do my research into that a little bit better before I start making calls or videos on stuff like that, right? I don't like giving out misinformation, that's for darn sure. Because I was given a lot of misinformation. And, uh, doesn't, hasn't done me any good. <laughs> well, I mean, kind of, I know what's wrong now, but... Anyways, so we're getting into the wolf territory. <laughs> so here's one of us prints here right right so 
There's another one. Upside down. And then there's a smaller one. So, there's gotta be. Gotta be. There's gotta be something in here. Okay, so I saw a grouse. I was, uh, walk <laughs> I was walking and all I heard right above me was this fluttering. And it flew away. Fluttering. And then flew away. And I just happened to turn my head and just saw it land down in the bottom of the valley. So, well, land somewhere down in the trees. <laughs> so, but I gotta say, it scared the f out of me. <laughs> Quite literally, I was like, just walking, and just above me, all I heard, just as I passed the tree, all I heard was the fluttering, and it flew away, and I looked, and it landed down the trees. <laughs> right in the area where that wolf print was, so I was looking for the wolf, and that just freaked me right out. <laughs> so, we'll count it. One grouse I saw so far. Obviously, I didn't get to shoot it. <laughs> I'm not very good in mid-air shooting. <laughs> Anyways. I'm always happy to see my truck. I gotta say. It's a beautiful thing. I'm so happy. <laughs> that I got That I got back. In one piece. No wolf is following me, so I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> oh, my beautiful truck. I love seeing her. At least I gave a little bit of room for like a quad or something to get by. You should see some of these people that block off the road completely. Wow. Fortunately, this spot, I didn't really have much, number, much of an area to pull off to the side with. So... <laughs> I had to do what I had to do. Actually, you know what? A vehicle could have easily got through here. There's tons of room. Tons of room. Okay. That was a long, wet, muddy walk. I was kind of expecting the wet and muddy, but. Whew. All right. So now that I'm all calmed down now, I'm back to the truck. <laughs> I guess I'm going to turn around and make my way going back in. And um, see if I can find a few more roads. But I don't know about walking any more of them. I'm pretty tired now. Jeez, what happens if I actually get a deer? I got to drag it out of the bush. What am I going to do? I got a winch. No, I got a rope. And I got a truck. <laughs> And I know how to deal with leverage. <laughs> okay, anyways. Let's get in the truck. Let's get out of here. Let's get warm. Alright, so. I'm in my truck. Driving along. And I'm driving on this beautiful powder. Check this out. I like it because look in the back. You can actually see my tire marks. But you can't see nothing ahead of you, right? So you know nobody's... Right? In or out, sort of thing. We all got that, right? Okay, so that part. And when the temperature drops just that little bit, it kind of melt. I guess it melt. Well, it doesn't melt, but um, it, earlier in the video, I um, made a comment on how crunchy the snow was, right? Because it was in the minus, uh, in, in the minus degree. And, um, so it's really crunchy on top, right? But when it drops that degree or two down, right? Like, well, I guess up. <laughs> um, then when you're driving on the snow, it's like powder. It's beautiful. This is what I like driving on, this kind of snow. And only when there's about that much. So right now, this is the spot. This is the time where I enjoy it when there's snow on the ground. Because it does also soften the noise of the gravel that you're 
that your tires are going on driving on the road, right? You hang out your hang your head out the door and listen as you're driving. You'll notice a difference, right? So, um, so this is something I really do enjoy. I just wanted to point this out because I like it. I don't know about it if anybody else notices this or if I'm just the only one, but just throwing it out there, right? So, yeah, powdery drive. Here we go. Haven't seen anything yet. Actually, no, sorry. I did. I saw a grouse in the tree and it flew away. I did hop out and wander off a little bit to see if I could find it, but I wasn't able to find it. So, oh well. So, anyways, let's continue on. here in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it up there but there is a ladder up there so let's go check it out now I've already found one blind today this would be a good area too I've already found one blind today or a tree stand or what you'd like to call it. So, let's see about this one. Hopefully there's nobody in it. Oh, really? It's just a ladder. But I bet you could sit on that. One of those steps there and watch. Be a good view. Alright. Alright, that'd be a neat view. Alright, so. I found another one. Found another neat little spot. Not sure if I'm gonna use that one. But the other one would be a good idea, for sure. This one, I don't know. Maybe not so much. But. Just walking down from where I saw that, from where I saw that ladder. I 
I see something. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's full. Is that full? No. That's... That's a piece of meat for deer. Uh-oh. Somebody's been baiting. And from what I know, from what the rules and regulations say, you shouldn't be baiting. So, now we know that, maybe we'll just walk away from this area for right now. <clears throat> just because, you know, so I'm going to go back on this little path here. Or was this the path, or... Oh, I'm sure that was the path. Yeah. From what I know, you can't bait out here in BC. Um, baiting is taking, um, well, basically taking like a food or salt lick sort of idea, putting it in an area and letting the deer come to it and you basically sit there and wait for the deer that's baiting that's um that's not allowed uh not here in bc i mean in the states it is but not out here so a lot of walking today like I did a super lot of walking today already it's okay I'm not near the I'm not near that wolf that's hunting me down anymore <laughs> Let's go on the trees here. in a fair bit of that bush there. I'm trying to get my way out. I'm trying to at least found, find um, the area where uh, that ladder was in the bait. Which I think I'm coming up on it, actually. I am right here. Ooh, look at that. Alright, so. Yeah, so. Once again. Out here in BC, you're not allowed to bait. Ooh, there's a nice path right there. Um, out here, and you're not allowed to bait. Um, the um, the states you are, you're allowed to. Which way? I'll go this way. Uh, states you are, um, but not out here. So and that almost looked like a. Looked like a can of ham, you know, a can of spam. Um, yeah, <laughs> it looks looks like there's been a few animals already nibbling off of it, and um, unfortunately. If, I was thinking about this as I was walking in the bush. Unfortunately, if a deer comes, happens to come and start nibbling on the spam, or whatever it is, the bait, 
um, and I come by and I shoot it, um, that could almost look like I I was the one who's baiting, and right, so I could get in trouble. So I think the best thing to do in this situation is just walk away. There's lots more bush out there. Okay. I just saw a deer head just... Bounce around up there. But just the head, like... Just literally the top of the head, I think. I could be mistaken. Wait. in my imagination. It runs wild sometimes. Maybe that was my imagination trying to find me again. I don't know. Maybe I should get away from it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I saw something move just like at the last second on the corner of my eye, but it might have been just maybe a piece of snow on top of a stump or something like that. <laughs> Like the timing when I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna play that off mainly because there is bait down there, and I don't want to even chance the fact that something were to happen, you know. Mainly because, you know, the bait's out there. And if I were to happen to shoot something, right, let's just say, my luck, right, game warden would be pulling up, and they'd see it all, right? So I don't need the chance, I don't need the risk. Too much risk, not enough reward. So I'm making my way back if I can find my way back. This way over here. Yeah, this way. That's another thing. Don't get lost out here. <laughs> try to, when you're walking, you know, like try to make a mental note of certain things. There we are. There's my footsteps right here. Uh, try to make a mental note of certain things like where you are or the kind of like the lay of the land when you're hiking out because sometimes trying to get back is it's it's it can be fun it can be fun there was one time i did get lost out in the woods oh that was, <laughs> oh, that was freaky <laughs> <clears throat> I just kind of lost my direction. I got turned around, and then I got turned around again, and I'm trying to find my way back, and nothing was looking familiar. And I was like, "Oh no!" So I ended up sitting down and waiting for quite a while, just trying to think, like the direction I came, you know, that sort of stuff. So, but anyways. Found my way back, obviously, right? So, and I'm back on the road. Okay. I did a lot of walking today, like tons. But I did want to go down a little walk. 
My beautiful little truck. Look at this beautiful truck right here. I love it. I'll see you soon. What the heck? Oh, that's a rock. <laughs> a rock underneath my tire. It kind of made it look flat or something. Okay. So I'm going to go down this road right here. Go for a little walk. See what I see. You never know. This boring trip could turn real interesting in a snap of a finger, so <laughs> hold on your seat. <laughs> so I stopped the truck and I walked up this hill just because it was it's so open and it's nice and dry. A few spots of snow. Right? Right? How could anybody not come through this? Like <laughs> so Anyways, I made it to the top, looked over the, uh, looked over the hill here, and there wasn't too much, uh, to look at, so I decided to make my way down. And, um, I think it's getting pretty close to the end of my trip here. I gotta go this way. Uh, so, I'm kind of hoping on my way out. It would be sweet if I saw something. Just to see something would be sweet. <laughs> However, it is what it is. Once again, where did I go? Oh, I went this way. <laughs> Don't get lost. Don't get lost. Right? Don't get lost. Don't do it on film either. That's the worst. <laughs> uh. So I'll make my way down to the truck here, <coughs> and then uh, I'm gonna slowly start making my way back. And then um, that'll pretty much be the end of my little trip. But you know what? It wasn't a total loss. I had a nice little adventure. Saw a couple of things, like not animal-wise, but. Saw a couple of things. I found a few piles of scat around, so um, obviously that's not the most pleasant to see, so kind of why I didn't put it on film. <laughs> so, ah, but it is a beautiful area up here. Look at this. That's a word of the day. Beautiful. Right? It's open. Nice and open. There's this trail right here that I'm kind of kind of following <laughs> and not anymore <sighs> so I gotta say it's been fun it has definitely been fun it's not over well, it's only over until you get home and shut that door right <sighs> but it has been pretty fun thinking about coming out tomorrow and I want to sit in that blind that we found earlier. Because that thing was cool. I gotta tell you, that thing was cool. How do I get through this? There's an opening over here. Hang on. Good times. Good times. I love it. Good times. See, now, I wish this was summer, so I could do this without the coat, right? And the gear on, I could run through here with my shorts. <sighs> but, oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Where's the road? Pretty sure I would have hit the road by now. No, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I hope I'm not lost. Where am I? <laughs> That's okay. Because I know the road is in this direction anyways. <laughs> so, as long as I just keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. I'll hit the road eventually. Right? Unless I'm going the exact opposite way. Which I don't think. 
Pretty sure. I am going to go this way, though, because I was quite a bit over this way more than I was this way. So, anyways, I'll figure it out. I'll get my way out of here. <laughs> All right, so don't get lost. <laughs> I'm in the truck now. I, d I will admit that I got a little turned around there at that one spot. And then when I got to the road, it, um, I got to a portion of the road that um, I wasn't familiar with, right? So, um, and I actually thought for a second that I hit this one, that I had found a, an off-road, like another road, um, another road that went off the road that I was actually on, right? So, um, so I was a little confused there for a little bit, and I, I will admit I felt a little turned around, but hey, I found the truck. <laughs> That's the main thing. That's the main thing. Um, Anyway, so I'm on my, I'm heading my way back. I'm gonna, I'm obviously hunting on my way back, but um, I think this trip is almost done for. But hey, you know what? I, we've seen some stuff actually. You know, we, uh, we found that big fungus on the side of the tree. That was cool. It was bigger than my head. Well, maybe not. It was about the size of my head. My head is pretty big. Right? So um, we found that. We found a blind. <laughs> We found a random ladder that we could call as a tree stand because, you know, you can make it work, right? So we found that blind, found that tree stand. Um, I, heard a, I heard a tree crash um, not, not very far from where I was. Um, I got lost a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we uh, found some wolf prints. And, um, you know, hunting a wolf, getting hunted by a wolf, pick your, whichever one it is, I guess. <laughs> uh, we found some prints, found some tracks. I found a bunch of scat. Obviously, I didn't put that on the camera because not everybody wants to see that, right? So, um, and now I'm just slowly heading my way back. That's about it. So, my hunting trip is pretty much done. Um, because I'm getting to a part where it's pretty much just smooth sailing right home. So, um, I think it's kind of a bummer. Uh, a bird, oh yeah, gross. I was walking on that path, uh, on a path, uh, or on the road, and the, um, I'm walking underneath the tree, and the grouse fluttered and flew down into the trees, and it freaked me out, right? So, uh, I had a bit of an adventure. It's always good. You can't always, you know, hit a grand slam every time you get out. So, um, but I did actually have fun in the bush. I still got a smile on my face. Now I gotta go back to the city. That perked me right up right there. But I'm in the bush right now. So, anyways, until next time, make sure you check out the uh, my website, bushnet.ca lots of pictures on there. I try to update that stuff, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. Um, I got my Facebook page. You should check that out too. Um, my gear is also on my website. You got to check that out. Hats, toques, hoodies, shirts. Um, I'm actually going to go pick up the toques here on Monday. I'm going to go pick up, um, uh, pick up my medium hoodies, uh, from the place. Um, probably in about a week give or take um yeah about that give or take so i'll have all that stuff ready to go um anyways i think that's about it too bad didn't get to shoot anything too bad and didn't get to see very much i saw a couple we saw a couple well i saw a couple grouse and that was pretty much it unfortunately other than that it's been another adventure, right? So anyways, if you like what you see, please join the crew, join the family, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you saw a deer in one of these clips, you just let me know, and I'll make sure to kick my butt later, all right? So anyways, until next time, keep on pushing it.